Hello and welcome to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV. And I'm going to plug in my headphones now so you can't hear the music in the background. Okay. Um, yeah. So, I leveled up, um, a little bit. As you can see, we're just now level 5. Which took, like, well it took 7 battles actually, but that's because she died literally twice. She leveled up every battle she survived, pretty much. And as you can see, she has more than double the HP now, and triple the MP. So yeah, she hopefully won't die as easily now. Um, yeah. She also learned several new spells, which I'm still not going to use because I'm cheap like that. Cheap in the not spending way, mind you. Not in the smart way. She's in the back row right now, so that's why she can't hit for crap. But anyway. To the cave! Um, yeah, this is where it should be. Again, Toad! Sounds exotic. Um, so... I should actually probably do some real commentary, since before I was pretty much taking up all my time just doing all the dialogue. But now that I'm here, I don't know what to say. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I probably know a lot less about this game than I do about Final Fantasy 1. I mean, I don't have a list full of glitches to talk about, or unintuitive weapon stats to reveal. Or powerful spells to exploit. <laughs> or not as the case may be. Um although I'm sure the enemies will start hurting me more as the game goes on. Um what are these anyway? Water bug, water bug, water bug, and bot wait no, there's only one water bug. And check it out, they're actually attacking Cecil now. To be honest, I'm not really sure how the targeting works in this game. I know back row takes less damage and deals less damage. Or maybe it's just a harder time hitting. Either way, it takes less damage though. Like so. She was on the back row before, but she's further back now because I moved the spot. And that's just the way it um, shows it in this game. Oh, I was sort of hoping they would kill it. Just for the comedic of, wow, there goes a third of her life. Wow, this actually has a lot of HP. I should probably use magic on it. I probably should. But it's dead now. And Rydia levels up. She learned hold. Let's actually look at all the magic she has. She has cure. Uh, really? I need a spell to open the mini-map? Really? That's the way. And hold, which causes paralysis. Think about it though. I need a white mage in order to open my mini-map. That's bad. And here I have Thunder and Blizzard. Which I notice I can only use six times. And I got a potion. And a maiden's chest which I believe restores you from frog. Which is one of several ni nasty status effects. Oh. I was sort of hoping that would kill it. Right, there's only one thing to do. Waste HP! Ha ha ha! Yeah, that's right. Oh, that's Rydia. Honestly though, until actually fighting something I want to spend a pee on, she's sort of just dead weight right now. Well, to be fair, in a pinch I could use her for healing. But honestly, I think I'll probably stick with the potion. 
really one step one step well she might be able to kill something maybe not at least I don't hit very hard don't hit very hard indeed and she just keeps missing yeah now that I'm seeing this, I'm pretty sh sure you need a bow for reasonable accuracy on the back row. Of course, I could be wrong, but I'm still not moving her off of the back row. That would be just kind of suicidal. I mean, well, I already said that she died twice just trying to get her to level 5, so yeah. I don't need more of that. And she learned sleep. Um, let me check something. Not status, magic. Hmm, I guess I'm thinking of a different one. I know there's one Final Fantasy where the status effects can also be used a second time to cure it. Uh, I think that's Final Fantasy 3 though. Zombies. Let's use dark. Actually, that's my heal one. Nope, but it wasn't particularly effective. Actually, you know what? Can I- Oh, I don't have fire. So much for that for now. But yeah, I think it's pretty likely they're resistant to dark. Oh! Oh! That could be a problem. How does this work? Not really great. Yeah, yeah, this is gonna be a problem. You know, I feel like I should have another character here. I gotta be honest. You know, this zombie fight is not gonna go work for me. I can tell right now. I should probably run away. Oh, let's hope we can target everyone with that. Took a bow kick! Okay, that's one gone. Well, after using MP this recklessly, I'm going to need to leave anyway. So when I go back to town, I'm just gonna uh, double check to see if I missed someone. But yeah, because these guys are almost certainly resistant against uh, whatever Cecil's talking. The bright news is I have just I have just enough MP for three consecutive chocobo caps. Which is really a terrible waste of MP. But again, like what are you gonna do? It's either this or run away. Anyway, let's get out of here. Back to town. Well that's not far away at all. Go to the inn, and we're done in the inn. Now, we need to find a room, or a house, or something to that effect. Maybe I should check the bar again. I wanted to go to the dam can to become a dancer, but the water cavern is filled with monsters. I've been practicing though, check out these moves. Ah. Damn dancers, I don't want to watch you dance. <laughs> okay, that's actually pretty funny. <laughs> anyway. Um. Okay, this is where Rose is. I guess we'll try the pub. No one new here. Okay, I guess if I do get a new party member, it is in the water caverns. Oh well. 
And I'm just gonna run away from running into more zombies. <laughs> but... While we're back here, let's make a little more progress this time. It's a box! It has a tent. Neat! Uh-huh. And... I wish my magic didn't cost as much. I really do. Like, what I don't understand with these past games is if they wanted magic to be so viable, why were they so stingy on the ethers? You know? Like, it's one thing to want you to be able to run out, but it's another thing entirely to run out than be useless, right? Like, even if it costs a lot, you should still be able to buy either. Otherwise, magic is just uh, grossly inefficient, or even more grossly inefficient. And a lot of Final Fantasy games are like that, too, you know? Well, anyway. Hello? Could it be? It is! That Dark Soul! Dark Knight! I need your assistance! What's wrong? I must get to my daughter! Wait, what? I must get to Damkon! To reclaim my daughter! She okay, that voice is not gonna work. That's even worse than the Cephal voice. Um, <laughs> she was deceived by a wicked bard. We must hurry before I sense an ill omen. You must be the Sage Taylor. Indeed I am. That girl, she is a summoner. Perfect, she can help too. A giant monster lurks in the lake ahead. Th that devil can withstand even magic. I think we can feed it together, and then I can finally be on my way. We're, we're hurrying to da them count as well. Then let us make haste. Sage Hilla joins the party. Da -da 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 -da. Neato. He's in the front row. Why? Well, you know, he's level 20. He can be in the front row if he wants to be. Oh, but more importantly, check him out. Notice he has exactly 98 MP. That's not going to change. Now, notice. Uh, actually, that's only four spells. That's not that much. He has a bunch of magic, though. But he always have not, has 98 MP. Always. It doesn't go up. Ever. However, he can do this. Which is basically free, uh, free magic. It's random magic. And it takes a while, but it's free. And I'm gonna use dark. Oh. You know, I'm gonna try putting... <laughs> I just turned them all into frog. I'm gonna try putting the rod back on Rydia. I just want to test something out with that. Yeah, you would miss. Ah, Rydia. But yeah, I just have a hunch that I want to try out. Rydia, gain the level. Now then. I mean, I'm assuming that this rod works the same with the staff, which is, say, bashing them on the in the face with a metal stick. But... I figure it's worth a try. Yeah, that's what I thought. I think Caleb failed. Either that or it didn't work because he was targeting a frog. <laughs> Either way, really. Um, you know, I think I want to go 
this way first. Well, I probably want to go up there, actually. Oh, that figures the loops around. I don't know, I'm a little bit lost, if you can't tell. <laughs> Recall! Hit the fish! And why am I showing this battle? Good question! Um... Yeah, I think he failed the game. I wouldn't put a pass on him. You know what, Taylor's low. Well, not as slow as Rydia, but it's perfectly fair to Rydia. She is just under level. Well, less so now. But still, she's a much lower level than everyone else. Taylor's like, what? Six levels higher and still slower than Cecil? That's pretty slow. And we're way to second. Why are my potions in multiple stacks? There we go. Now then. Um. Well, obviously I want to get up there. And... Oh, come on! Oh, you know what? I'm going to show you a nice trick with Kayla. Well, actually I'm not sure if I would call this a trick, but it is a very useful thing to know. One of his spells is this one, Osmos. It uses up no MP. What it does is, it drains MP from its target. Now, something like this fish doesn't have much. Um, yes, as you can see, just eight. But... That eight MP is more than it takes to cast, for example, Thunder. With th this in mind, you can quite easily just um, sort of waltz through the first part of the game of Kit. Uh, don't get used to it though, because the game gets harder and he's not going to stick around forever. Now then. It's an iron ring! I don't know what this does. Increases my armor and magic apparently. Wait, I wonder. Dark gloves. Okay. Zombies? Ha ha ha, not gonna be a problem anymore. Not with tail on my side. Firepower. She still doesn't have fire though. Uh, oh. Actually, I was, ho I was rather hoping that would be more effective. Well, Hale is still the correct choice. I should probably be able to two-shot them then. Let's see. Yeah, that did it. Poison? That's not fire. I wonder what's up the water. Oh, that's neat. An X potion! Wow, that's like a late game potion. A dry either. And a Phoenix down? Actually, the Phoenix down is easily worth the least. I actually didn't know that was there though. I just walked into that completely by accident. Not that I'm complaining, mind you. Uh, right, so, let's go here. Oh, by the way, I can't save here. Huh. I guess they fixed that. Well, that's a little bothersome. Anyway, let's use Osmos to place up a bit. I should also probably heal Cecil. Seven. 
I'm missing the thing to do with all this darkness spell that we've been doing. I don't think Ride is a full HP either, but, well, honestly, her HP doesn't go that high anyway. Oh, I guess it's a little better now. Still healing stuff. Though. Wow, it's actually not dead. I get a chance to heal Cecil again. Or not. I don't know quite how to feel about that. Anyway. Um. Into the water, I suppose. Attack! And the. Oh, you? No. You use Osmos. Gotta maintain that high MP count. I don't honestly, it's not like these can hit all that hard anyway. And I'm still wondering why I'm not coming out in this battle. Like, seriously. Just don't worry about it. I've said this before, but it'll just take me a few videos to get in the practice of, you know, or to get the feel and practice of actually cutting battles out of these newer games. This shouldn't take too much longer. I mean, I've already started to do it, so it's just a matter of doing it more often. And hey, it's dead! Now what's up? Oh, actually I can't go up that waterfall. Okay then. Um... Where was that box I saw? Now then. About that box. Battle over. Okay. Now, box. Get. Potion. Good. Okay, back. Hopefully that doesn't happen. Well, I'm pretty close to the half hour mark on this recording. So, I'm gonna just call it and stop here. So, until next time, this has been Let's Play Final Fantasy IV with Chaos Blue. Uh, until next time, see ya.